Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Poon Tang and before we start this video, I know this could be controversial this topic, but the NBA is a stoner's league. So sorry for the mic quality. I'm at work. I said that funny, but I'm at work and I kind of forgot my microphone, so I'm just using the MacBook microphone. So let's get into it. Let's talk about how many players and who smoke weed in the league. I just think this is a very interesting topic because come on, it's 2017, there's a whole news, not even news channel, there's a whole TV channel called Viceland, if you guys don't even watch it, I don't even care about like, like I do like smoke weed occasionally and stuff like that, but like, it's just a good show, a good channel. So let's hop into it, like, subscribe, let's just hop into it. Joe Dumars, former Bad Piston great, if you guys didn't know, in an interview in 97, put the cannabis conundrum and best by saying if they tested for pot there would be no league with that being stated i could list so many players that you didn't know smoked weed okay weed is just one of those things that players do let's say this if you will look at this picture of lebron and on tmz like not even tmz dirty after a game for the championship in 2011 I think it was he's hitting a micro G pen vaporizer I don't know if you know what that is it's a herb vaporizer that you smoke marijuana out of like I, I don't know if you know that there's nothing wrong with that it. it's just he's also admitted into his book that he smoked weed before our great LeBron James Steve Nash believe it or not smokes weed there's some truth behind the Steve Snash smokes weed because he's Canadian myth. A weed map source was at a club celebrating Jason Richardson's birthday when Nash, playing with Jay Rich and Amari in Phoenix, suddenly turned to him when the club smelled like bud. So Nash asked him if he had a bowl. An astonishment, our source, asked if he smoked and Nash responded, I'm from Vancouver, bro. If that's not enough, he once rode tandem bikes with Hall of Fame stoner Baron Davis. Isn't there a nicer guy in the league? Like, honestly. Now I'm just going to list people that just everybody knows smokes weed. Uh, not everybody knows smokes weed, but come on. Like, these are people. Jason Williams, white chocolate, got kicked off of, kicked off of two college teams for smoking weed. Like, what is there to do in Gainesville besides smoke pot? Same thing in Marshall. Uh, Rasheed Wallace and those the bla the Trail Blazers. Come on, everybody called them the Trail Blazers because one day Rasheed Wallace and Damon Sodmeyer got pulled over with 40 grams. Adam Morrison literally got called out for being so baked on Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, who else? Bill Walton. This man was a hippie. Bill Walton was an actual hippie. James Harden, obviously, he's boys with the game, okay? And beards are for lazy stoners, like, obviously. Mike Beasley, everybody knows that. Zebo, Zach Randolph, was busted in 2010 for selling pounds of weed across Indianapolis. Okay, he was literally called a drug kingpin. Then two years later, he had his entourage throw a weed dealer out of his party because he was charging too much for weed while Zebu was horizontally occupied with a woman in his bed because this dealer was trying to charge $120 for half an O in Portland. It is a bit steep for a half O because I'd be paying for a half O in like, you know, 100 bucks, 90 bucks. Joe Kim Noah, he literally has a sticker that says something about hemp, like has a weed sticker. Uh, let's see. Mario Chalmers. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has a weed DUI. Mario Chalmers definitely smokes weed because, like, if you had to be behind LeBron, Wade, and Bosch for two, three, four seasons, definitely. Chris Humphrey was smoked weed on marijuana.com. Lamar Odom, come on. His favorite strain is green crack. Okay, uh, Marquise Daniels was chilling with St Steven Jackson when they got bit, like big. And also Tracy McGrady and like Clay Thomas, those motherfuckers always look baked as fuck. Okay, they always look so high. M Stephon Mulberry literally came out and got caught on film after he said he smoked weed. Allen Iverson, uh, fucking smoked weed. 
Carmel Anthony smokes weed. Supposedly, his friend borrowed his backpack and left weed in his backpack in an airport. Okay, so if you get pulled over by the cops for being drunk, did your friends forget their alcohol in your stomach, bro? Come on. Yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. The NBA is a stoner league. Tell me down below what you think of it. Leave a like. Subscribe. As always, guys, have a great, have a great day because I know I will. Don't like it, guys. Peace out.